Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're checking out a really interesting light fixture or fixtures from Kame TV. And special thanks to Kame TV for sending these in for review. Uh, since then, I've purchased and ordered several more of these because they're so versatile to have here in the studio. There's so many great things you can do with them. So these are the brand new Boltzen Andromeda LED lights, and they have some really unique features. Obviously, they're a tube-like light, which we've seen before with companies like Quasar and others. But what makes these really special is how many features are packed into them in some really unique design choices that you can find with these. Now there are a total of four different sizes of these Andromeda lights. We have the four foot, which I have here. It is a humongous light. I can barely get it in my entire shot. So we've got the four foot, a three foot, a two foot, and a tiny little one foot light. And there are three different styles of these lights in those sizes. So we have the RGB model, which can also do by color. And we have a by color model. And finally, just a simple daylight model. Pricing starts at 175 for the smallest daylight only version, all the way up to $535 for the giant four foot RGB B model. So before we jump into how I've been using these lights and my final thoughts, let's talk about the light themselves. We have a tube style light here, but what's really cool is these actually have barn doors on them. So right now I have it all the way open from the side. You can still see the light, but I can close these up here and get a very tiny sliver of light, which is really cool. And it's going to block the light from leaking out of the sides. This makes it a very soft fixture because of the size. Remember, we've talked about that in the past. The size of your fixture is what primarily is going to dictate how soft the light is, but it's also directional because we have those barn doors, which is really awesome. You can remove them if you want to, totally doable. On the back of the light, there are quarter 20s all the way down this thing. So on the four foot, you've got a whole bunch of them here. I think there's about seven, uh, which is pretty great. And it is battery powered. So here I have the external controller that comes with the light. It isn't perfect. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But essentially, you just plug the lights in via a XLR connector. And then we have lots of functions on here, which is great. Aside from turning the light on and off, there is a dimmer knob on the bottom, which lets you change the output, I can press this button in and now I can change the color temperature if I have the bi color or RGB light. And on the RGB models, you can hit the RGB mode and switch over to RGB and be able to cycle through all the different colors, change the output of that color as well as add a frequency if you want some kind of strobing effect. On the RGB models, there's something really cool, which is being able to adjust the hue of the light. So if I'm in RGB mode, if I want to go to 5600 Kelvin, maybe I'm in a space with kind of a green tint, I can actually dial that in at the bottom. So going into the positive makes the light greener, going into the negative makes the light more magenta. So you essentially have built in plus and minus green filters on this light, which I love. The light also has scenes. So I'll go ahead and pick up the light here. You can see it's going absolutely nuts. There's several of these scenes, including lightning disco show, which is pretty sweet, uh, TV show, candle lights, bonfires, police lights, all kinds of different things. And with your phone, you can actually control even more what the light is doing with these scenes. So yes, this thing has Wi-Fi built in. So you can connect with your phone and control the light that way. There also is a remote. So if you can't access the controller here, you can just use the handheld remote to do all kinds of different crazy stuff. For power, you can either plug this thing into the wall with the included power cable, or you can get a DTAP cable if you want to use V mount or gold mount batteries. And finally, you can use Sony MPF batteries, which I have two of these big honking 970s on here to power the light. Lots of power options, which is always really, really handy. And last but not least, a really cool thing about these lights is you can get them in a kit of four and connect them all together with a bracket that comes with those kits. So if you want kind of a Kino flow style fixture, you can line all these puppies up and now you have a huge light source with lots and lots of output. So now let's actually put these lights to work and see what we can do with them. I'm going to start by using a kit of four three foot bicolor lights all connected together as a key. Since we're connecting all four of these together, we're getting a nice large light source, which is very, very soft. 
And here's what that looks like on camera. Not bad, but I would like to soften it up even more. You'll notice it's a little harsh on my glasses and we're still getting some pretty harsh shadows. So to resolve that, I'm going to be using some diffusion. This is a 3.2 foot frame. I can put the link in the description if I can find it, but the center part of a 5-on-1 reflector would pretty much do the same thing. So I moved the light back a little bit, turned up the output, and here is the result. You'll notice it's much softer and we're getting less reflections in my glasses, or at least those small, really obvious ones. Here's the side by side so you can see the before and after of adding the diffusion. When we were not using diffusion, I had the light at 23%. Now we're up at 64, so still tons of output available to us. The next thing I did for the shot was add a four foot tube almost perfectly opposite of the key. If I show you the before and after, you'll see it's giving us almost like a fill, but it's also acting as kind of a kicker, just bringing up the exposure of that dark side just a little bit. And that's our final shot. I think it looks really, really nice. And all of these could be packed down or used in completely different ways because of their versatility. Also, just for kicks, I threw a single four foot tube on a stand and used it as a key light. You can see it's doing an okay job. There's lots of shadows though, so I would definitely want to soften this up personally. And again, here is a single four foot tube, but with that diffusion we talked about earlier. So this is a very simple setup and I think it looks really, really nice. This is the daylight only model and we're at 100% with the diffusion. Without the diffusion, it was like 17% or something. There's tons of output with that daylight fixture. So at the end of the day, you can get some great results with just a couple of these tubes or even just using one of those four foot daylight models as a key works great. Okay, so to sum things up, how do I feel about these lights? In short, I absolutely adore them and I've been using them a ton. They're fantastic for just splashing a wall in your background with some light. I love that you can get an RGB model and it lets you use the green and red diodes that are a part of RGB to dial in your tint. That is so powerful to go into a room that might have fluorescent lights and be able to add just a little bit of green or in certain warmer conditions, add some magenta. That's really amazing. Output is plenty good on these, especially the daylight only in the bi color. The RGB one has a slight hit when it comes to the output because there are a bunch of those RGB diodes included with the standard ones. So not a huge deal though. They're still really, really bright and totally usable. And I love the barn doors. That is huge to be able to control soft light and it's something you don't always see. And the cost honestly is pretty great. Even with the RGB models, it's still more affordable than the Quasars and you have all that functionality of having an external controller, battery powered RGB with Wi-Fi and a remote control. And I didn't mention earlier, but you can actually link all these together so you can use a single controller to control a ton of different lights all at once. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, the things I do not like about these are still somewhat plentiful. The controller, there is no way to mount this to anything. There's a little slit there for adding some kind of strap, but there's not even a quarter 20 on this thing. So if you wanna hang this on a light stand, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, so hopefully in a future version, we'll see an update to that. The barn doors are really thin, which is nice for weight, but they do get dinged up pretty easily. Luckily you can remove them. And so I suppose you could replace them if something really bad happens to them, but they're not the strongest thing in the world. And finally, a little pet peeve of mine and one that's probably going to be an issue someday is that this cord coming off of the light is fixed. I cannot remove it from the light fixture. Now it's a really high quality cable. It's one of those nice kind of limp ones. So you can do this and it's not going to damage the cable. So that's good. But I don't think that's going to hold up uh, over a long period of time, especially if you're hauling these things around traveling a lot, that could get kind of dicey. But at the end of the day, I love these things and I'll definitely be picking more of these up and loading up the studio with them because there's so many things you can do. You can put them all on the ceiling and with one controller or your phone, control them remotely, which is phenomenal. So that's what I think about this new Andromeda system from Came TV. You can check out all the light models in the description. Also keep in mind that Came TV is making several different RGB model lights. So there's one little one right behind me, super bright, really small, very, very nice. There's also some weird lights that we're going to be talking about here on the channel, which are pretty interesting. So that's it for me on these lights. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the future with more reviews, tutorials every single Tuesday with live streams on most Wednesdays. Have a great one. We'll catch you next time.